Hey boys and girls, Bruce here. Just going to do a very, very quick preliminary um, review of these new fantastic um, earplugs that I've got from Flare Audio. Um, the Isolate, which use bits of uh, metal, either aluminium and titanium. And they're quite a unique new idea uh, in terms of uh, ear protection as it goes to the traditional kind of foam earplugs or the, the ones that I have here. Um, the ACS um, custom molds with uh, filters built into them. So um, I was really, uh, I saw this come up as a Kickstarter campaign and uh, I was really enthused by what they promised that the earplugs could do. It looked really great. So I signed up and I got my pair. I waited a while and I have to say they the Kickstarter campaign was awesome. The way they kept you informed of things, it was really great. Really impressed with the company. Um, the packaging that these arrived in, even the little bag it comes with, are pretty awesome. And the, the plugs themselves are pretty awesome. You get a range of different um, uh, buds that fit from large to small. I've got the medium ones here. Um, so these are the aluminium ones. I tried them out briefly at a gig on Saturday, uh, the other day. And I have to say, I was well impressed. Um, I'm a big advocate of um, hearing uh, defenders. I appreciate that they're not for everyone and uh, they do make, there is some disconnect between um, what you're hearing and the sound in the room. And, you know, I don't think any earplug is going to do that by the very nature of what they are. But I have to say from an attenuation point of view, these were, these were fantastic. Um, I want to spend a bit more time looking at um, the claims and the findings that uh, the team have put together on um, their website. But what they're trying to suggest is the hard metal acts as a reflective surface. So um, all the sound waves uh, incident will be uh, reflected away from the eardrum. So what you're basically hearing is through bone conduction. Um, obviously bone conduction is not going to give you a high fire response. Um, so going back to these, I put them in. The attenuation was fantastic. Um, God knows, probably 20, 25 dB. It was it was dramatic, the amount of reduction. And overall, the sound when I was listening to kind of uh, the DJ set that was going on was pretty good. Um, you know, you were getting a lot of the bass was filtered out, so um, which is a problem that you get with foam uh, earplugs in particular, where you get a bit too much bass response. Uh, the highs were also filtered out considerably, so it sounded like a really good listening experience. The mids, though, were also filtered out, and then when I started to play, this was, I wouldn't say problematic, it was certainly workable, I could hear my guitar, but as always with all earplugs, you're not really getting the sound that you wanna. It's, it's quite a different sound that you get to hear. So I switched back to using my um, ACS and with the, um, the, what, what filters in here at the moment this is the the 15 db filter um, obviously slightly uh, less filtering uh, attenuation than these earplugs and um, I, I could play a bit well, I could hear a bit more of what I wanted to hear but then again you have to bear in mind that these are eight times the cost of these and they're custom molds and you know very expensive um, and again still not completely ideal um, you're not getting the precise sound of what your guitar sounds like um, and it can be problematic for some people I've grown used to it and I would certainly say I'm going to use these more I want to do a little bit more investigation about them but on the whole if you're a drummer or a musician or a DJ um, playing in an orchestra if you can get away with it, these are definitely worth a punt. I would definitely go and I'd probably take them everywhere with me because they're a brilliant concept and they work phenomenally well. I'm well impressed with this company. Uh, so I will post a, a follow-up uh, when I get a chance. I hope that was useful. Oh, and always protect your hearing. Uh, I can't state that enough. Um, particularly if you're playing in, in bands or you're a DJ or, you know, hearing is your primary tool um, of your trade and uh, they are so easily damaged and um, I've been a lot of, well having studied acoustics and, and done my PhD in psychoacoustics I'm a big advocate of um, hearing protection and the dangers so you know it's not the most fun sexy thing in the world to talk about but once it's gone it's gone and um, 
you know, these little things can uh, save your uh, livelihood. Yeah.